This is a short little video to show you how we can compose three functions. And I would use the same process if I was composing four or five. So here's our three functions, f of x, g of x, and h of x. And I want to find g of f of h of x. So remember, in our regular function notation, that would be g of f of h of x. Now, it's kind of hard to look at this way. So what I would say is start with your instance side two functions. So let's just first concentrate on finding f of h of x. Now we know that that's f of h of x is 2x plus 1. So that means in f, any place there's an x, we're putting 2x plus 1. So that gives us 2x plus 1 quantity squared plus 2. So we replace the x with 2x plus 1. Now remember this needs to be foiled out. It's actually 2x plus 1 times 2x plus 1 plus 2 at the end. So doing our foiling we have a 4x squared plus 1 plus 2x plus 2x, so plus 4x. And don't forget our plus 2 from the line before. So when done, this is 4x squared plus 4x plus 3. Now this is what's going into G for our triple composition. So what I'm actually looking for when I'm looking for g of f of x is g of 4x squared plus 4x plus 3. Now remember what g says. Any, so now any place there's an x, we're putting this in as the input. So g has its input in the denominator. So we'll have 3 over 4x squared plus 4x plus 3. And there's not really much more simplifying we're going to be able to do past that. So there's our, that's how we can handle a triple composition. If we had to compose another function on the outside, well now I've got g of f of h of x. I could put that in as the input for the next function. So just work from the inside out. 